don't want to jump to any conclusions, but I think this time, races and fun is might have stolen a gas station. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and it's time to get dizzy once again. Four full 360 degree turns well, is the uh, feature of today's course, Lamborghini being the first team here, and they will be going up against the McLarens. We've seen them race before as well. And uh, it's a pretty straightforward race. Centenario and the McLaren will uh, kick us off, and you'll see they'll come down here, a nice uh, clean straight, then head right into the turns. One, two, three, four, all 360. Then they'll come out, and the track will widen for a second, which is a uh, provides an interesting challenge that we may see uh, pose uh, later on here. As uh, you're not going to be able to stay in that single file lane always. We'll have to have some control coming out of the turns. And we'll see how that works out later. Aventador and the McLaren. Aventador here on the near side, McLaren on the far. Lamborghinis starting out quite well. And here we go into the turns. Looks good for the Aventador. And he's staying that few lengths in front. Here they come out of the turns. He dives to the near side and stays in front down the line. And, uh, be another win for the Lamborghinis. McLaren and Lamborghini Huracan. Huracan, McLaren, Huracan starting out a couple of lengths ahead here into the turns. They both kind of bounce through the transition. And the McLaren comes out a few lengths behind here and bangs off the wall. That's going to give the Lamborghinis another easy win. Again, lane four. McLaren and Reventon this time. Lamborghini, Reventon, McLaren. McLaren starting out much faster this time. Here we go into the turns. Bounces through. And he's almost a full 360 degrees ahead. And he comes out way ahead. Diving down the hill here. And looks like he'll take the win as well. McLaren's could use it. Falling behind early on and hopefully starting to climb back here. Aventador and the Speed Tail. Aventador here on the near side. A few lengths ahead here. Through the turn, Speed Tail starting to catch up here. Almost a length behind, now a length ahead. Aventador nudges and pinballs out of the transition. And he's going to fall behind here at the end by quite a bit, actually. First comeback we've seen today, and no better time for it. Clarence could use that sort of pickup. The Senna and the Centenario. Senna, Centenario. Centenario coming out two lengths ahead, now three into the turn, looking fast as ever. And then the Senna is having trouble staying straight through the turns. And unless the Centenario stops out of nowhere, it's an easy win for him. Sesto Elemento and the McLaren. Lamborghinis, McLarens, this one starting out quite even. The Sesto having trouble keeping his wheels down on the ground. And roll through. And the Sesto coming out a few lengths in front. McLaren trying to get back. Who both of them turn around through the transition and bobble. And the McLaren can't come out on top of that either. Actually was starting to make that comeback, but, uh, well, looked ahead too quickly and lost control. Speedtail Hurakan. Rocking there on the far side, speed tail. Fish tailing through the first straight and coming out strong into the turns. So Rockin' trying to keep pace, but starting to fall behind here by a few lengths now. Three and four. Here comes the transition and the speed tail. Gets out in front of it quite well. And he'll have this win. He does go wheels up at the end, which is, well, a little unnecessary, I'd say, but uh, whatever floats your boat. Five to three, Lamborghinis up by two. And we'll see how the next round shakes things up. Speedtail, 
Centenario. Centenario. Mm, had quite a dominant performance in the last race, actually starting out a little slow in this one. And who has the lead coming down here to the third and fourth turn? Centenario falling behind by a few lengths and has trouble getting through that wide area. He got blocked in there on the left side. He will fall short of this one. Aventador and the Senna. Here comes the Aventador. Ooh, just holding pace by a hood length. And here we go through the turn. Senna, actually we saw last time Senna caught up on his race through the turns. And it might happen here again out of the transition. Aventador, he was sideways through the transition. You see how that can pose a challenge when the track widens there. You think it would give cars more room to settle, but, well, leaves room for error as well. The Senna did a good job staying straight and takes that one. Speed tail, Centenario. Another Centenario, and this one looking pretty well through the turn. Speed tail had trouble getting in to the turns right there and, and tries to catch up, but to no avail. Centenario will come down pretty fast here as well. And he's almost off camera as he crosses. Last one for this group, Sesto Elemento in the Hurak. Hurakin, Sesto. Take a look at the Sesto and how he enters here. Ooh, actually not good. So side wheels go up there for a second. That's going to cost him a couple legs. It's going to be tough coming down the back straight. Eh, can't get any speed out of the turn as well. And the Sesto will fall short here. Well, that will leave a 2-2 game going into the semifinals. Lamborghini both sporting white cars as their uh, prime racers right now. Centenario and Speedtail. Seen them both before and perform quite well. Centenario trouble out of the gate here. Now down by a couple of lengths. Here comes the turn. Speedtail starting well and losing ground fast. Here comes the Centenario. Well, up by two now. They both bobble through the transition. Speedtail trying to pick it up at the end here, but it's not enough time. I thought he might have had it here coming down the hill. But he couldn't pick up the speed. Senna and Hurakan. And was that? Quite a close race this time. Harakin getting the head start. And the Senna needs to look good down the turns. Usually it does look good for him, but trouble against one of the best racers on the Lamborghini team who struggles out of the transition but has so much room to work with. And he still takes an easy win. And that will push things to the finals. First to win two races here. Well, they're both Lamborghinis, Centenario and Hurakin, so take your pick on which one you want. Congratulations to the Lamborghini team for taking this one, but uh, who will actually win the individual? Right now looks good for the Hurakin. Ooh, turns out it's stuck in the transition, both of them. And here comes the Centenario to put things away here in the first one. That's a tough way to finish. And well, now the Hurakin's trying to pull things back together here. Centenario falling behind here by a few lengths. Here comes the final stretch, and the Hurakin takes it by a length. And we're even at one. And really, it was only because of that terrible mishap. We almost got stuck sideways in the transition. The Hurakin's not uh, sitting atop the podium right now. Here comes the Centenario, faster into the transition. Here we go through the turns, looking about even. Hurakin falling behind. Here's the transition for both of them. Looks good for the Hurakin and not as good for the Centenario. And he's actually going to come in a little bit short right there. And I think we have our winner. And it is the Lamborghini Hurakin to take this one. Of course, the video. Remember back in the first race, Lamborghini came out victorious as we narrow eight teams from four to two to one over the next three rounds. They beat out McLaren and now Corvette and Porsche. We'll get things going today 
in the second race. And here on the left, we got the blue Porsche with a yellow Corvette. Corvette with a nice spoiler on the back and some racing stripes dark on the hood. Even through the first turn. Ooh, the Porsche. Trouble through the first turn. Looking good now for the Corvette as he comes out. No, he boxed there through the turn. Here comes the Corvette in the near side. He's fast out of the gate. And he's going to take that first race. That transition into the final piece was tough on the Corvette. And the Porsche will set the tone here in race two. Corvette and Porsche. Black and uh, oh, faded blue, maybe. Corvette here on the near side once again. Porsche turning around. Through the turns, here they go. Down towards the transition. And, oh, something's going on in the back lid there. And he will take the win. But uh, I need to check that out. Back hood kind of flipped up there, coming out of the transition. That could be bad um, once competitors start being faster in later rounds. Porsche 911 in the Corvette. Porsche, beautiful bright yellow car. Uh, bright white car, oops. Nice spoiler on the back. And a convertible there on the far side for the Corvette. And about even through the turns. Looks good. Here's the transition. Both of them bobble out and turn sideways. Corvette on the far side, but can't catch up. And they're both slow to the finish line when it is good for the Porsche. And he finds the win by a hood. Corvette C6 in the 911. Like a purple car. And good out of the gate. Here comes the Corvette slowing down into the turns. And the Porsche is looking good down into turn three. Now they're even in turn four. Now on the near side, Corvette fast through turn four. And he's going to win this one no contest. And Porsche looked good out of the beginning, but really struggled to keep control through those 360s. And quite a tower they have there as well. Spider and the Corvette. There's a large descent to get down to the bottom. Here they go. Corvette in the lead into the beginning of the turns. Now we head to the bottom. Spider starting to find length here. A few legs, but he turns sideways. Almost gets stuck, but all speed is gone. And the Corvette will cruise to victory this time. That's been a struggle for these cars so far today. And staying straight out of the transition. It's by design that they let the track open up there. Really encourages focusing on control. Corvette, Porsche, Concept, and Carrera. Carrera there on the far side, and this looking convertible. Bright yellow, and about a length ahead going into the turns. Here comes the Corvette on the near side, already back to the lead to the first two, the third one. Oh, he's on the side! Wheels were up vertical, but somehow he manages control and still takes the race! Not really sure how he did that. He looked like he was going to fail there halfway. Targa and the convertible. Porsche. Both of them convertibles, actually, the Targa here also with the lid open. I don't know if that's best for aerodynamics, but it's what they're choosing. Both cars very slow through the first sector there. Here comes the Porsche here towards the end. And the Targa finds some length here at the end. And both cars not looking the fastest, but we'll take it one race at a time. Corvette SR2 and the Spider. Or Spider there on the far side. White with red stripes. Corvette red. That's quite a body there. Fin sticking up in the back. Here comes the Corvette down through the transition. Bobbles a little bit, straightens out. Spider. Ooh, no speed into the second sector. And he will fall short of the victory. Four and four. Pretty even so far. Porsche 4, Corvette 4. Next round. Now let's trim it down to 4 period. SR2 and the Carrera. Well, this blue car have quite the comeback there in the first race. Let's see how this one goes. Ooh, looks smooth this time into the turns. And well, he really gained speed last time in the turns. Looking pretty good for him. Porsche having trouble. Oh, he's on the side. He's backwards. He's got no speed coming out of the transition. And that loss of control is going to do him in. Wheels up at the end. And Porsche will take that one. Could not hold steady out of that fourth turn. Porsche Targa and the Corvette C6. And here we 
go, heading towards the turns once again. C6 looking pretty good. That Targa, look, again, slow into the turns. Maybe he's building up speed for the last run. No, he's bobbling, but the Corvette goes backwards and sideways. Targa trying to catch up here at the end, but it's not enough time. Give him a couple track lengths, and it's a win for the Porsche. But unfortunately, well, he ran out of room. And the C6 will finish backwards, but well, with the win. Corvette and Porsche. Corvette taking an early lead. Spoiler on the back right and white. Porsche here on the near side with that back hood still flipping up. Where's the speed coming down the final line? Porsche on the near side with speed, and he's got it by a hood length. Accelerated out of turn four. And that foot race to the end was good for the Porsche. Porsche 911 and the Corvette Stingray. White versus gray here. Corvette Stingray with his bright shiny wheels and a good start in sector one. Taking the lead through the first few turns. And of course falling around. And he bobbles through that transition and the Corvette will take that pretty easily. Fumbles through turns one and two and already started pretty bad. And that's not going to look good for the Porsche team. Porsche hanging on with one car. Corvette with three. Odds are in the Corvette's favor. Not this time. Corvette SR2 and the Porsche 550. We've seen this 550. Again, an odd vehicle. The loose parts on the car. But has uh, held his own pretty well. And low into the turns. And he's behind by a few lengths, starting to speed up. Here's through the transition. They're even. Porsche out of the transition. His hood is falling off. But he does win by a couple lengths. And the Corvette couldn't manage to keep up. Stingray and the C6. Which one will face the Porsche in the finals at 550? And right now it looks good for the Stingray here through sector one. Both cars are a little bit sluggish into the turns and starting to speed up here down the tower here comes the c6 out of the gate looking fast stingray trying to hold his own to the end and the corvette c6 just takes over as he crosses the finish line the win will be given to him and he will have to face off against that 550 in the finals remember first to win two races will be your champion such 550 named the Corvette I believe that is a Porsche and the C6 C6 sporting the number 32 on the side of the car looking good through the first stretch here but it is even the 550 again losing parts and not taking that race usually is pretty good down the back stretch but again I have to be I have to be honest whatever's loose on the back of that vehicle is probably having an effect on speed. Right now, the C6 fumbles through the first turn, and now he's behind by quite a bit. The 550 almost gets stuck down the transition, but so does the C6. And both cars will finish backwards, and we're head, heading to that sudden death. Third race here of the finals. Question is, which one of these two cars will be able to pull out the victory for their team? Porsche holding on with one here into the finals. They only had one after round two, and here we are with round four. And Porsche even at one with the Corvette team. Here we go down the turns. Fourth turn looking pretty good for the Porsche 550. Ooh, straight out of the transition, and it's no contest for the final race. The Porsche 550. As he crosses here, a few lengths ahead of the Corvette, and he will take this race for the Porsche team. They will be moving on to round four turns all at the same time. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan. Just here appreciating the beauty of Hot Wheels racing. Lamborghini and Porsche, the two winners from the first two races here in round one. X Racers will be the first team for race three and they will be going up against Formula One as we head through round one. The What 4-2 and the Formula Gen 2 and the 4-2 and the Gen 2. Gen 2 there on the far side. A bright gold cock. With a very low pitched body. Has to arch over the wheels here. It comes out of the turn. Gen 2 here by a length. And the 4-2 will come up just a bit short. Probably about four wheel lengths. 
And Formula One will start strong here with a win. F1 Racer and the Nerve Hammer. Nerve Hammer. Smooth out of the gate. F1 Racer can't said the same thing about him. Ooh, ooh, very slow there into the first turn. And the Nerve Hammer looks to be in control of this race. It's a struggle through the transition, but straightens out. And the F1 Racer, well, uh, started bad for him too. Looked pretty hesitant out of the gate, and that's where a race can fall apart. High-tech missile and the speedy Perez. Talk about exponential effect. And hesitant out of the gate behind a length. All of a sudden, that's uh, many lengths by the end. High-tech racer here. Mm, looking tough through the turns here. Down by a few lengths. Rolling fast towards the end, but can't catch up. And, uh, well, he looked like he picked up some speed through the turns, but just had trouble holding it there right to the end. F1 racer in the two-timer. Two-timer, F1 racer, two-timer, quite a big vehicle as compared to the F1 racer. Well, looks to be almost double the size. Two-timer, around he goes, hitting that fourth turn first. F1 racer trying to hold pace or even into the transition out onto the final back stretch of the two-timer can't hold pace. Look at that replay. F1 racer didn't have control until about the end, but that's where it counted. Saving that speed for the end. Phantasm and the No Fear Racer. Wheels sticking out on the sides of the No Fear. Phantasm. A more regular car body and looking fast through those turns and smooth through the transition. And the No Fear Racer might have to start fearing defeat. And he comes up a few lengths short down the back stretch. No Fear Racer once again, and the Bulletproof. Man, these X-Racers have quite the imposing car body. This one, again, just looking very large out there on the track. And uh, covering a lot of space. Bulletproof down the final straight, and looking good for a win. And uh, Formula One starts to slip behind in the competition. Next set, Power Rocket and the winning formula. We've seen both of these racers before in other competitions. And here they come again. Power Rocket, really the epitome of an imposing car body. That large arch there in the back. I'm not sure if that's going to be a little struggle for aerodynamics, but at least against this F1 team, it seems to be absolutely no problem. And again, another new, no fear racer. Uh, we'll have no fears about advancing. Let's go Indy 500 Oval and the side ki slide kick. Slide kick looking good out of the start. Indy 500 hesitant out of that starting block. Let's see if he can pick up some speed here through the turns. Looking good through turn three and four. Coming out a few lengths behind. He does bobble there through the transition. But it's not going to be enough for the F1 racer to catch up. And the slide kick will advance. Take a look at the current standings, 5-3, to three, X Racers over Formula 1, and I feel pretty confident about the X Racers, if I'm honest. Speedy Perez and the Bulletproof. Bulletproof far side, Speedy Perez near side, Bulletproof starts to break away as we head to the turn, both of them smooth in to the first turn, here comes turn 4, Bulletproof holding a good pace, bobbles there through the transition, here comes Speedy Perez. Down the near side, but not speedy enough. And the bulletproof. And we'll see some of the semifinals. Nerve Hammer and the F1 race. Nerve Hammer. F1 racer. Nerve Hammer here on the near side, struggling to keep up with the F1 racer. Here we go to the turns, looks even. Now the Nerf Hammer starts to take a little bit of a lead here. It's even down the back straight. F1 Racer trying to hold on, Nerf Hammer. Oh, I can't tell. I think it is the Nerf Hammer. I think that's the one lighting up there on the near side. 
I think he just held this one. We'll see in the replay for sure. Yes, the nerve hammer by a hair. Gen 2 in the slide kick. Gen 2, one of my favorite car bodies out there today. This looks beautiful. Bright and gold. Very exquisite auto making right there. Here comes the slide kick down the final straight. He'll have it by a few lengths. And both of them keep about an even pace out of that fourth turn. Power Rocket and the Phantasm. As compared to last time, I will say this group of teams has been uh, better at handling that open track there right after turn four. Power Rocket, Phantasm, we're cutting down one of the X-Racers right here. Phantasm comes out a little faster from the transition and he will take this one. He did go sideways there for a second, but quickly recovered before things started to narrow. Look at the standings again. X-Racers with four. So, congratulations to the X-Racers and moving on to round two. But, uh, as always done on races and fun, Nerf Hammer and Slide Kick. And we like to see who is the best of the best in a particular race. And now the X-Racers will go on to a friendly but also very competitive trim down of these final four. Nerve Hammer struggling to keep up with the Slide Kick who's been dominant all day down the back stretch. And he's going to have that race easily. Question is, who's going to face off against him? From what I hear, the X-Racers do look up to the Slide Kick as one of the best racers on their team. Phantasm and Bulletproof. And uh, well, these two are close seconds for sure. Phantasm, bulletproof, even through the first straight. Here comes the turns. Turn one and two. Still even. What about three? Ooh, bulletproof starts to take a lead. Oh, turn sideways. Phantasm has the speed down the transition. And he will fall through gate one for the victory. Head to the finals. Again, the X-Racers already have today's win. Slide kick in the Phantasm. This will be a best two out of three to determine the best X-Racer, well, from this particular day. I'm sure it looks different depending on the track and even the day that they come out to race. Again, the slide kick looking good. Down through turn three. Oh, on the side of the track, wheels up vertical. And that's going to do him in on this race. Phantasm will catch a break here early in the finals. And we saw that in the previous race. A car coming up on the side, wheels going upright. But that car actually won that race. Somehow maintained control. Sidekick not looking happy about that. And he's going to come back out strong in this one. Look at the lead he's starting to establish through turn three and four. Phantasm trying to catch here up on the far side. He does have acceleration, but not enough. And the slide kick. Well, he's going to push this to a third race. We do change lanes. And again, the slide kick out to, ah, this time a one-length lead into the turns. Phantasm had a rough start. He's going to have to do some work here in the turns as he start to catch up. Ooh, not looking good. Slide kick bobbles there through the transition. Phantasm on the near side, but has no time. And as many uh, fans might have expected today, it will be the slide kick to take the win for the X-Racers and for himself. Good win today, X-Racers. As they race by. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan. And I will say the tower has been decorated beautifully for this tournament. It really makes it stand out. Lamborghini, Porsche, and X-Racers, the two winners, uh, the three winners from the first three races here in round one. Bugatti and I believe Renault. Uh, the two teams that will vie for the last open position in round two. Renault Trezor and the Bugatti Veyron. Trezor, Veyron, Trezor looking bad out of the start. Uh, and here comes the Bugatti. And looking to be a strong race through turn four. Oh no, the Trevor had it there to turn four and turns around. Trouble in the transition. And he could have had the win right there. He had just kept control out of the turn because he had the speed almost twice as much. Veyron and Trophy. And something happened there for the final turn, and that's a fast car 
and we're gonna miss out on seeing you later. Trophy, Veyron, you got it here on the near side, Veyron. Black and white car body and slow through the turns. He had the lead and it looks like the trophy will be ever so close to the trophy. One step closer after this race. But still many more rounds to go. Renault Sport RS and the Bugatti Veyron. A lot of Veyrons today. The Sport RS on the near side. Bright silver with a spoiler on the back. And the Veyron. And the relaxed blue. And he does look very relaxed out there racing as he comes out in the transition. He's way behind. He actually turns towards the side. I don't know what he's doing, but it's certainly not what I'd call racing. Good win there for the Renault team. Moving on, Veyron once again. Renault Sport RS again. Well, very bright, almost distracting color there of the Renault. Maybe that's a tactic. Maybe he just likes being painted that way. Red and black on the Veyron, and again, looking slow through the turns. Here comes the Sport RS, and a dominant win for him again. That's two Sport RSs who've showed that they're here to compete. And the Bugatti team is suffering right now. It's three straight losses. Sport RS and the Chiron. A different Bugatti car type. And that might do some good for this team. Chiron looking good down the first sector. Actually pretty fast. And the Sport RS has trouble gaining into turn one. Back wheels hit something there on the ground. Here comes the Chiron out of turn. Bobbles goes sideways. Doesn't have speed. Sport RS has chance to catch up. But he doesn't capitalize on that mistake. And the Chiron. And we'll turn things around here for the Bugatti team. Veyron and the Sport RS. Yellow and black. A bumblebee out there on the near side. Oh, hit something in the track there. Where did the speed go? Oh, right into whatever bump that was. I couldn't see a bump. But he hit something. I saw him kind of jump there for a second. What about the Sport RS? All the speed is gone. He boxed in the transition. And the Veyron catches a break. Comes down through the end, head by a couple lengths when he was behind by so much. Trophy and the 94 Bugatti. Both of them with spoilers on the back, a bright blue on the far side. Trophy, black, and a little bit of gold there on the near side. Ooh, trouble through into the first turn. He's behind by a full turn or more. Here comes the 94. Trouble out of the transition, but has tons of time to make things work, and that he does. Bugatti team making strides to come back here, and well, he might have evened it out here. Heading into round two. Let's see about this race. Veyron and the Sport RS. Black and yellow. A bumblebee across two lanes. Oh, Bugatti. What happened there? On the side of the track. Still has a chance to take it back. Somehow gained control. Here comes the Sport RS. Lost speed through the transition. Bugatti on the near side does have the win. It was a mess for both of these racers. But somehow, the Veyron comes back at the end. Bugatti actually turns this round around after three straight losses and is up on the Renault by one. Uh, well, two, five to three. Sport RS from the Bugatti Veyron back to the Bumblebee. And uh, this bright red, very distracting car, as I mentioned before. Sport RS. And he's ahead by a couple lengths here. Who comes to turn four transition? That all important transition looks bad for both of them. Sport RS Bach, but so did Veyron. And we'll say goodbye to the buzzing bumblebee. Unfortunately, not advanced. Veyron and trophy. Remember the Bugatti team, because they have five going into this round, they automatically will have one in the semifinals, but they'd like to get some more. The Renault needs to at least win one more race here, but I don't know if the trophy is going to be that car. Looked very bad through the turns, and huh, didn't look any faster out of it. And they'll bring up the last Renault, Sport RS, and the 94 Bugatti. This will be a tough race. And the 94 Bugatti, one of the better racers on the Bugatti team, might even be the best in certain situations. Sport RS holding good pace though, they're about even, oh my god, Sport RS vertical and upside down and all the speed is gone and all the movement is gone. He's on the hood, wheels are up and about turn three. 
And the 94 Bugatti, well, I guess all he had to do was look at the Sport RS and institute one of the most unexpected failures we've ever seen here at the tower. We get a good look at some of the art, though, as we pan over to the uh, accident. And uh, medical officials will check in on that RS, make sure he's okay. Sharon and Veyron. And, uh, well, we'll hear a word from that soon. Veyron out to an early lead. Sharon actually looked good in the first race. Surprised to see him losing here early on. Ooh, it's about even out of the transition. Fast through the turn. Sharon's got it down the back stretch. And that's looking, uh, Pretty good for the Bugatti team, who's now up 3-1. to one. As we, uh, dart towards the semifinals. Renault hanging on with one. Sport RS and the Bugatti. Again, the toughest competitor here to go against, Sport RS. Will this one at least <laughs> not flip over down turn three? Oh, damn. Tough, tough speed loss through that first sector, and the 94 Bugatti has it down here. No, he turns. He's backwards. Sport RS needed to see that and stay fast. Doesn't have time to catch up. Has lost too much ground through whatever happened there in the first sector. Something on the floor of the lane. Maybe we saw this lane one problem in a different race. Veyron and Shirley. Who will face the 94 Bugatti? Congratulations to the Bugatti team, of course. We've already solidified their win and the position in the next round. But uh, well, we'll get to enjoy the finals. Ugh, not looking good for the Chiron. And it will be the Veyron. And then hearing word about the Sport RS that uh, things are looking pretty good. Obviously disappointed in the loss, but, well, safety first. And uh, he's doing all right. First to win two races. Veyron in the 94 Bugatti. Again, 94 Bugatti seems to be you know, some sort of a captain here out in the Bugatti team and has been showing that through dominant race performances and now the best of the Bugatti team gets to go head-to-head -head and Bugatti again, 94 and then far side there again fast through those turns. And that's going to be the difference in this first race. The Veyron, you can't knock him. Definitely fast out of the first sector and again this time. But the 94 really has that sense of speed and control when he takes it to the turn. Veyron has a good lead in turn three, now turn four, ahead by a few. Struggles through the transition, and the 94 is upside down! Big mistake. I don't even know how that happened. We didn't get a good look at the turnover. But that's not what I expected. Again, medical officials will need to go check him out. And I think he's going to want to race again here, at least before any uh, more stretched out checkups. Veyron taking an early lead once again. Not as big as last time in the Bugatti. Fast, 94 catching up here and ahead. Box through. The transition is behind in the Veyron. I'm actually best a senior racer on the Bugatti team. And uh, pull things to a end here for this race. I think the 94. The round two, all the teams we will see are already winners, winning their uh, race in round one and coming back for more. Porsche and Lamborghini are today's winners who will try to push their way into the finals. Porsche Spider and Lamborghini Centenario will begin things today. Spider on the near side here, Lamborghini on the far side. And they had a chance to race on this track before, as they said, so hopefully they'll come out stronger. Less mistakes out here in the transition. A little bit faster, maybe. Hmm, tough on the Centenario. And the Spider comes through and puts a point up on the board there to start this one. Hurakin and the Carrera, Porsche Carrera. Porsche team already starting quite well. Hurakin here on the near side. Carrera on the far side and dropping back a hood length into the first turn. And we'll head down the tower. Carrera there on the far side, struggling to keep up and bounding through the transition. Fumbling a little bit and uh, finishing backwards and slow. And we'll even at one Lamborghini Porsche. Let's go Porsche 911 and the Centenario. Come out again, Porsche here on the near side. And remember, Porsche 
in the last race actually struggled to win, almost lost it, was down all the races except one going into the third round, but somehow pulled it back with that, that one Porsche, if you remember, <laughs> the hood in the back almost came off. Lamborghini will pick up this one, and they'll be up two to one. Let's go Huracan and the Targa. The Targa, one of the more standout races again from last time, but still mm, not as good as he could be. Targa, ooh, slow there into the first turn. Same with Lamborghini, though. And he's still ahead by a few lengths. Oh, he bobbles through turn two. That's going to be tough. He comes out second place, and the Lamborghini team will pick up yet another point, and will be even at two. There's a struggle there down into turn two, even through turn three. He couldn't right himself, and it was too late coming out. 9-11 in the Reventon. Come out here. 911 here on the near side. White with a red number painted on the side. The Lamborghini, a relaxed green color, and honestly, racing pretty relaxed right now. 911 way out in front down the back stretch, and he will take this one. Pretty even so far. And not too many mistakes out there. Honestly, just maybe a little bit slow to start for both teams, Aventador and the Spider. Could get out of the gate a little bit quicker. This one looks pretty good for both cars. Aventador out by a length. Now two. Spider still holding pace. Ooh, slow into the first turn. He's got trouble catching up here. It's turn three and four. It's close. And the Aventador turns around. Wheels were in the other lane. And he's not going to finish. Well, feeling very good about himself right there. A few lengths behind. And it was all about that consistency from the Spider. Carry him through. Carrera and the Aventador. Continuing here in round one. Ooh, looks about even here going into the first turn. Aventador, a little advantage, but the wheels go right up on the side. Almost fell off in turn one. And I think Porsche is going to have this. Oh, my God. He almost lost it down the transition, and the Lamborghinis will come back. Just as I say that Porsche had this one wrapped up, well, he took a turn of his own there at the end. Here's the 550 in the Elementa. And we know the 550... From the last race again, the MVP for the Porsche team, and starting in likeness this time as well. A little bit tough there if you turn two, but so far ahead, it doesn't even matter. I don't even see Lamborghini. I think we might have a stop there up in the tower. Fell short. Something happened. We're going to pan over there, maybe take a look. Up there, right by the 7-Up Cup. He lays wheels up. I don't even know how that could happen. We did see this happen before in round one. But again, maybe just scared by the 550. You already really had the race finished after that first sector. We're four and four. After all that chaos, we're actually even going into round two. Who's going to come out dominant here in the next round? We got the Spider 918 and we got the Centenario. Remember this Spider. And quite good in the first race, pretty smooth through all the turns, and capitalized mistake by the Lamborghini, and kept straight through the end. There we go, Spider, both of them slow into the turns, now they're about even to turn four, now here towards the back stretch, and the Spider turns around, and he's going to lose speed through that transition. Lamborghinis pick up one. Well, I will say, if the Lamborghinis can somehow cut out the 550 from the equation here, I've entered or well, as I speak of the devil, right? 550. And maybe Lamborghinis could have an easy time getting to the finals. 550 actually looking slow into turn one. He's got trouble catching up. He bobbles through turn two. Three and four. Not looking good. Lamborghini has a chance, but no. He slows through the transition, and the 550 comes right back. And they had their chance. About as good as a retrieving an onside kick and then still losing the game. Spider in the Huracan. And the 550 will race once more in the semifinals. Rocket now by a couple of wheel lengths here into the first turn. Looking pretty good for the Spider. Starts to take back the lead. Two and three and four. And the Spider's got it here. Going into the back stretch. Lamborghini on the far side trying to catch up. But he's out by a length. And he had the lead through sector one. But it all fell apart in the turns. Rocking and the GTI. Again, this 911 GTI. Beautiful car. Spoiler on the back. Red number, shiny wheels, and ooh, slowed down there into sector one. Both cars looking pretty slow, actually, into the turns. 
Oh, that's a turn four, but pretty even. Here comes the 911 on the far side. Has the lead for a second. I think the Lamborghinis might have got it. Slow down there at the end, and yes, the Lamborghini's in lane one. And we're even at two. This will be a close one going into the semifinals. Thought the Porsches might have been able to put himself at an advantage. Centenario and Spider. Blue and red. Bright blue, bright red. And the Spider matching the color of the track through the 360s. Now he's up by two turns already. Even a little bit struggling through the transition. Still going to win that one. I don't even see Lamborghini on the picture. There he goes. And uh, the Porsches will definitely have a finalist. It's up to the Lamborghinis now to, well, beat the best of the Porsche. 550 versus the Huracan. And this is for all the marbles, as you might say. Well, at least for the Porsche team. If they win here, they win the whole tournament here in the semifinals. 550, looking pretty good by a few lengths through the turns. Here it comes out of the transition piece. Hood is up in the back, but he has a few lengths down the back stretch. And that's going to be easily enough to win it for the Porsche team. We'll go to the finals and duke it out between the two Porsches. But uh, again, Porsche team looking pretty good right now. And we'll be heading to the finals, and the next video will decide well, which one of the other team still remaining will have to verse the Porsches there. Spider actually coming out quite fast here in Sector 1. Here we go in the first couple of turns. 550 tries to fight back as the hood pops up in the back here through the transition piece. Spider slows down, down the piece, and the 550 right at the end. And that's going to be just enough speed. Definitely the comeback thing right now. And I call him the MVP racer for a reason here on the Porsche team. Even though he starts slow, it's all about how you finish and how you use the turns down the tower to build acceleration. There that time, the 550 did not do a good job. And it will be a third race of the finals to decide it all. Here we go. Final race of the final. Spider again, two length lead, out of the gate. Here we go, into the turns now by three lengths. Into the second turn by four lengths even. 550 falling behind. Ooh, the Spider has tough time down the transition. 550 with acceleration at the end. But still too far to catch up. And actually, you might have a new Porsche that you might be able to call the MVP racer. And that will be the end of I can't help but wonder are all those decals on the tower a little bit distracting? As racers ride by, maybe they stop to admire the art a little bit. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan. And one of these teams today will have to face the Porsche team in the finals should they win. X-Racers and Bugatti being the two today. Sharon and Slide Kick, both of these teams had quite the race in round one. And it's going to be a battle between the two for sure. Slide Kick, one of the best racers there from the X-Racers starting off quite well and honestly I'd be very surprised if the slide kick got kicked out in the first round here and that he will not as he comes across way ahead of the Bugatti and this Bugatti being the Chiron who was actually quite good last race Nerf Hammer and the Veyron and maybe this race will even out a little more X racers Dominant so far again, a few lengths out. Here we go down the first couple of turns. Nerve Hammer still holding his nerve pretty well. And smooth to that transition. That was beautiful. Did not bobble at all. Honestly, admirable run from the Nerve Hammer. X Racer, certainly some of the most dedicated racers we have here at Races and Fun. Veyron and the What for Two. And they're out there almost every day, trying to figure out the course, you know? Just uh, figuring out all those nuances about the racing. I think the 4-2 went up on the side right there. Wheels vertical for a second, but somehow he will still win that, and it'll be a 3-0 for the X-Racers. Fourth race here, High Tech Missile and the Veyron. Right now it's 3-0 on the X-Racers. Bugatti's got to come back here, make some sort of stand, and maybe this is it. The Veyron, few lengths ahead, going into the first turn. Trying to hold that lead as the X-Racers come back. They're even through the third turn. Now the fourth turn looks again to the X-Racers. And, well, it's been a shutout so far and seems to continue. 
Halfway through round one and Bugattis have not even been close. Veyron again in the two-timer. I'm trying to see where the Bugatti team is going wrong. They were quite dominant in their first performance. <laughs> Veyron right there had trouble getting into turn one. And that's easily going to be the end for this race. That will be 5-0. And I don't think Bugatti is even racing at this point. Oh, there he comes. Somehow found some footing, but way late. That's 5-0. I don't know if we've ever had a shutout here at Races and Fun in round one, Bulletproof and the Veyron. I mean, at least in something where we took it from uh, eight teams down to the best. I don't know if we've seen that sort of shutout before. Right now, X-Racers working on maybe the first time in Races and Fun history. Oh, X-Racers trouble out of the turn there. Wheels there on the side in the transition, but still manages to win. What's going wrong on the Bugatti team? Veyron and Phantasm. And they roll out. We're about even. Phantasm, actually one of the better races on the X Racer. So be surprised if he loses here. Veyron goes up on the side there. Both wheels almost rolled right over the side. And again, the X Racers. 7-0. One more win. And I think we have races and fun history in at least tournament racing. Power Rocket and the Bugatti. Can the Power Rocket pull this off? This is the best racer from the Bugatti team. We saw this last time, the 94. And this is the best chance they got to end this shutout. This perfect game of sorts here in racing. And the Rocket's on his side and he has no speed in the 94. Well, just avoid the shutout. Power Rocket had power there into turn four, but it all fell apart into the transition. And he rolled on his side for a good couple of seconds. And he's got to be feeling pretty bad. He's the only X-Racer to not hold on in round one. Bugatti with one car going into round two. Here's to the next round. High-tech missile and the 94 Bugatti. It's up to the 94 as the head of the team to keep things going as far as he can into the later rounds. Bugatti, both of them bobble a little bit into the first turn. Here we go to turn three. Still looking good for the Bugatti team out into the transition. They're even and the Bugatti's backwards and I think the X Racers already put it away. And that was a few length win there for the high tech missile. And now we're just going to cut down on X Racers. Phantasm and the Bulletproof. And that's tough loss for the Bugatti team who looks so good in the last race. I don't know what happened. And even for the 94, it's very rare that he's that bad in the transition. Phantasm will stretch the lead out down the back stretch. And he's in good position. So we go to the next round. Two-timer in the slide. A little bit of competition. A little uh, within-team competition here. And so the X-Racers competition is their middle name. And they're all going to be racing just as hard, if not harder, against their own teammates as they would against any other team. Sidekick right there. Once again, getting another win. Certainly racking up those wins to his name. Nerve Hammer and the What For 2. Nerve Hammer. Bright orange car here on the near side. 19 painted on the side. As the What For 2 has a, quite the motor there on the top. And here he comes with a lead down. The Nerve Hammer has some speed coming out of the transition. That's a chance. Uh, but what for two was accelerating down that hill. And the nerve hammer won't advance. Well, we have four X racers. And we'll head to the semifinals. Let's go Phantasm in the what for two. Phantasm here, a mix of pinks and purples on that car body. And a lovely hood, I will say. Certainly looks futuristic to me, while the What For Two usually takes that, all that old tiny look. And the Phantasm actually going to lose this race. The What For Two found some speed. He usually is not the top of the team for the X Racer. Slidekick and the High Tech Missile. Who will face the What For Two here in the finals? High Tech Missile starting out pretty bad, length behind as the bright red slide kick slides into the first turn here comes turn three and four and the slide kick's got this all button wrapped up as he heads down the last straight 
And it will be the slide kick and the what for two to battle things out in the finals. We'll go to the finals. And this should be a good one. What for two and the slide kick. Slide kick also with a more futuristic look down the hood. Dark wheels, not very shiny. But certainly a sight to look at, especially when he's out there racing. Blur of speed. Here comes the what for two. Actually held the lead down the back straight. And he will take the first one in the finals. Where was the speed in round one? I think he was uh, eliminated in rounds one or two of that first race last video. A few videos ago at this point. So I don't know where it's coming from. Slidekick trying to hold on. He's already behind. Here comes the transition piece. And the Slidekick won't accelerate at the end. The what for two? He will take this for the X-Racing team. That will be the what for two. And the X-Racing The Porsche coming right up on Races and Fun. Hey, everybody. I'm Brendan. And we'll head to round three, the finals of this tower tournament. Porsche, again, against the X-Racers here at the tower, which is four 360-degree turns. And down quite a distance as well. Targa and the Power Rocket will start things off. And remember, the X-Racers, in their last race, almost shut out the Bugatti team in the first round. It just came up short. Actually, it was the Power Rocket who came up short and again struggling through the turns and the Targa catches a break down the final straight. And again, the Power Rocket struggling towards the end of the tower. That's not going to look good for him. Maybe it's just whatever's going on in the wheels slipping around 4-2 and the Carrera. But it always seems to be a struggle later in the race for the Power Rocket. He usually starts off quite strong. 4-2, Carrera, 4-2. Very dominant in the last race and coming out very fast today. And there's not much to say about this one besides that, well, the 4 is advancing. Certainly was a bummer for the X-Racers who wanted to make races in fun history for sure with that shutout. Bulletproof and the Spider. And maybe they could do it today. They have? Well, they don't. They power rocket again. In the first race, struggled and came up short. Oh, the X-Racers again, hugging the side of the track. And I think that's the Bulletproof. And the Porsche team will put another win on the board. One of these days... One of the cars is going to flip right out of the turn. 550 in the two-timer. I'm curious to see how the 550 does today, who again was pretty good in round two, but uh, well, actually didn't win the overall. Here comes the two-timer ahead by a few lengths. 550 trying to fight his way back. Two lengths behind. Down the final straight, speeding up at the end, and he's got it. Just by a hair. It will be a struggle for the even the 550 today. Uh, heading up against the X-Racers, who are all very good racers. 911 and the high-tech missile. Certainly love that bright purple car. And he's ahead by a few lengths. And he does fumble in to the first turn. And will struggle to hold speed. Now he's behind. Fourth turn. High-tech missile coming out strong. And he'll have this one. And things are pretty even now between the two teams. Go to the next one. Nerve Hammer and the Carrera GT. A bright white car with orange and red stripes. Number five on the side. The Nerf Hammer, I believe, at 19. And a bright orange. And actually looking pretty... Oh, wow! Whew! The Porsche's in the other lane! Man, that caught me off guard. Wish we got a replay of that. Nerve Hammer seemed to not even notice... I'm going to have to catch my breath on that one. 911 the Phantasm. I wish we'd get a second replay to see what happened, but he just crossed right over. I don't know if that's some sort of a penalty for the Porsche team. I guess it's nullified because they didn't win anyway, but imagine if the Porsche team won. That's got to be some problem for the Porsche team crossing over like that. Phantasm will take this one by quite a bit. But I couldn't even believe that. Slide kick in the Carrera. Kind of right myself here as we uh, move forward. Always rolling forward here, racing fun. Slide kick almost flips off the side in turn one. Still holds the lead by a few turns. 
Here comes the Carrera down the final straight, trying to speed up. But the slide kick is always fast in the straights. And it'll be tough to beat him in the foot race at the end. And we're 5-3. to three. Porsche team at a little bit of a disadvantage. The next racers means that we'll definitely have one in the finals. 550 in the high-tech missile. 550 needs to cut out the high-tech missile from the race here if he can. Can't be going into the semifinals without the 550. 550 looking pretty good down into the first turn. Had by a few lengths and more. Here he comes in the transition. Oh, he swerves for a second. Writes himself. High-tech missile on the far side. Oh, I think he just missed the win by a hair. Let's look at the replay. And yes, the 550 held on. But just by a hair. Any more track length and it would have been over. For the 550. Nerve Hammer coming out strong here. 19 on the side. Bright and orange. Saw him earlier. Targa struggling to turn three. And he's going to have no luck into the final sector. And the Nerve Hammer take that win pretty easily. At least we'll have a some sort of battle here coming up towards the semifinal. Spider and the what 4 2. Spider and 4 2. 4-2 has been the protege of this team lately. And we'll see if he can hold through. Ooh, the Spider looking pretty good. And the 4-2 right on the side there. Grinded on the third turn with the undercarriage. And I think the Spider was just happy that he caught that break. Phantasm in the slide kick. One of these two will go to the finals. One of these two will return to the X-Racer team. Question is which one? My money's on the slide kick. Well, as usual, but the Phantasm is uh, quite a racer out there right now. A few lengths behind. Ooh, slide kick struggles out of the transition. The Phantasm has the speed. And it will be a little different for the X Racing team in the finals. Usually you, they're used to that uh, What for 2 and the Phantasm in the finals. But right now it's uh, the Nerve Hammer and the Fan. Uh, sorry, the What for 2 and the Slide Kick. But right now it's the Nerve Hammer and the Phantasm. Nerve Hammer and 550. Who will go to the finals? 550 struggling to hold the lead out of the first sector. Here comes the turns. Nerve Hammer still holding the lead through turn three. On the side, he grinds through turn four. He's way behind. And the 550, consistent as always, will come through and get to see himself in the finals. Let's hope the Phantasm can pull things back for the X Racers. It's all on him right now. He decided to beat out the slide kick. Which may have been detrimental in the long run, especially going up against this uh, particular course right now. Who actually has beaten the 550 before Phantasm. Ooh, pretty good down into the final straight. But has no speed. Well, no acceleration at least. And it looks like the Porsche team is going to win this one already. And it will just be a finals between those two. We'll still play it out, however. Here we go, 550 in the Spider. Who will be, I guess uh, for now, the best racer when it comes to the tower? Will it be the 550 or will it be the Spider? Certainly deserving both of these vehicles. Consistency and just being able to stay well through the transition. It's not right there, though. Spider actually went sideways for a couple seconds and he will not take the first one. But overall, the Porsche team has been definitely the best in the tower. Spider 550. 550 needs one more to win. Spider trying to push it to a second race. Much faster out of the gate. 550 has trouble into turn one. Here goes turn three. Spider still looking good. Out of the transition. Turns around. He's backwards, but he's got room. 550 on the near side here. Catching up, and he's got the win at the end. Lane one. By a hood length. And the 550 will be the best racer currently. At the tower, I will do it for this tournament. Porsche team again winning this one at the tower. And the X-Racers coming up just behind in second place. And the 550 being the singular champion of this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.